All right, all right. We are rolling. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the Fred D. Borges Show, and you're rocking with your host, Fred D. Borges. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. We are currently at 172 subscribers. We're trying to get to that 200 mark. We wanted to get to it last month, but today's a new month, so let's get to that 200 subscriber mark. We're at 172, so I know we can do it. Once again, hit that subscribe button and like this video. And yes, the background did have a little bit of an upgrade. We still got the Tom Brady, Mahomes, Young Money, Lil Wayne, who are the three goats. We have Stranger Things, since that is one of my favorite shows. And we do review movies on here. We may be reviewing shows. We have a little piece of anime, which is Goku. We have The Goonies, which in my opinion, well, it's one of my favorite movies of all time. And in my opinion, I think it's one of the best movies of all time. We have The, uh, the Key from Lost. And we have the answer, the Allen Iverson 4 is up there because it's so reminiscent to the time that I wanted that shoe. Years later, I wind up getting it, so why not put it up there? Since we do sneaker reviews, we cover anime, we do music, we do movies and shows. So, yeah, all that jazz. So, like I said, we do have a album review today, and we will be reviewing DBL on air by Down By Law. Now, I don't know anything about this group. They actually hit me up asking me to review their album. Obviously, this is a channel where we do everything. Like I said, we review sneakers, we talk about anime, we talk about movies, and we review albums. Have you seen my last two music reviews? We did Sabrina Carpenter, we did um, Lot and Logic as well. So they actually hit me up wanted me to review their album. And this is actually probably going to be one of the shortest um, album reviews that I'm probably ever going to do because when I do an album review, when I go into the album, um, I like to really dig in deep on what the album consists of. And a lot of the times when I review these albums – these guys that I review or females that I review, they kind of have a history online. You can do your homework on them. You can understand where they came from, where they started, this, that, and the third. This group, honestly, I don't exactly know how it all happened because they actually hit me up wanting me to review their album. And I did just that. And from what I know that they are a group, um, a rap group, from Baltimore, Maryland. And to be honest, what I'm saying right now does not take away from how dope this album really is. Now, a few days, or I want to say a few weeks ago, I actually posted saying that they are the definition of hip hop. And what I mean by that is when you go into this album and you listen to this album, you know, it consists of, let me see, it consists of 14 songs it's 49 minutes long and I was actually talking to one of my friends the other day saying that um a lot of these albums now they're kind of like snippets right you have 10 tracks the album will be anywhere between 20 to 30 minutes and you don't have a lot of consistency or substance um, of music. It's more of just like snippets. The music, the songs will be two minutes long and then it's on to the next track. And everything really sounds very samey. Now, with this album, 14 songs, 49 minutes, this is literally the sweet spot. It's not too long. And on top of that, it's a lot of substance within these songs. Nothing sounds the same in these songs, right? And listening to this song, they actually did listen to this album. They actually did me a favor because now I discovered a group of guys because I'm from PA. I live in Delaware. So Maryland ain't shit, but probably, you know, depending on the area, 20 minutes from where I live. Now, Baltimore, Maryland is probably about an hour, hour and a half, give or take. And they actually did me a favor because now I listened to and I discovered a group to where I think are dope as fuck. To me, like I said earlier, if like when I listen to music, I feel like I have to do digging for 
these albums to see what I like, what I don't like. Um, this is it the same stuff substance as the last album? And obviously, this is the first album I listened to them. I see that they do have another album on iTunes, which is um, damn, what is it? I remember seeing it. Uh, rappers are in danger. Now, I don't know if that's like literally the only other project that they have. I have not listened to that yet. Um, but I do want to say that I did listen to this DBL Down By Law um, actually a few times. And uh, the reason why I took so long to do, do this album review is simply because, like I said earlier, I just try to find something very deep, trying to take away, like, what did I take away from this album, right? And I honestly just took away that this album is fucking dope. And like I said earlier, when I say this, this is the definition of hip hop from the beats to the lyrics and when I say bars I'm talking about bars now metaphors I'm not going to say that their metaphors are super crazy right or super lyrical but I will say that the bars that they are spitting are so dope it, it's not because you don't you don't understand what they're saying you rewind it back because it was dope and then you rewind it back again because it was just that dope and then shout out to them for all these Dragon Ball Z lines. I don't know if they're a fan of Dragon Ball Z as much as I am, but I did discover a lot of Dragon Ball Z lines um, within this whole album, which is completely dope. Your girl alone home with your son. That's Chi Chi. <laughs> like Kamehameha Mea Wave. I told her stay away. And yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of just like a line and it's just like, oh, okay, cool, whatever. But I'm a big DBZ fan, right? And I feel like when you can incorporate a lot of anime within your music, it just makes it that much dope. And when the song is dope itself, it just makes it that much more dope, if that makes sense. Fuck you saying this is the Cell Saga? Like, I don't know. It's just a lot of DBZ references. And I think there was like probably like a few more but I didn't I don't have them written down. But I think there's probably a few more um on here that you know I didn't write down. And uh and honestly, shout out to Sammy Loco because the intro, on air intro, he kind of sets the tone for what's to come. It's so simplistic, so you know, not over your head. And like I said, it's so simplistic, but it sets you up, and then, yeah, and then you go from, you know, I Might, which is another dope track, which is right after the intro, Who Want to Cypher in the Room Tonight, Ayo, I Might, if I'm catching a vibe, and listen, this whole album is definitely a vibe from start to finish, you know, Capadonna, you know, Don't Front Florida Evans, and when I listen to these guys, these group of guys, and I think there was also a female that was actually spitting some pretty, some, some bars. When I listen to them, they kind of remind me of a pro era. Um, I would say mostly like pro era super group, right? You have Joey badass. You have, I don't, I, I don't know if CJ fly was on I'm pretty sure he was on, um, Pro Era. I'm not 100% sure, but I want to say he was on Pro Era. You have, you know, RIP to uh, to Steez, but they remind me of like a Pro Era, and that's not taking a like that's not taking anything away from how dope this album is. It's it's basically just bigging them up that yo, this album really is the definition of hip hop. And like I said, when you st when they start with I Might, which is the second song on this album, I feel like that definitely sets the tone for what's it sets the tone for the rest of the album right because when you listen to it in its entirety I feel like they're not going oh man all right all right my camera died but we're back so when I listen to this I feel like they're not going for I feel like they're not going for that mainstream that bop um, and like I said, I don't really know them personally. I just know that they hit me up wanting to re review this, but from what I'm hearing, I feel like they're not going for that, that bop or that mainstream sound. I think they're really going for that. Look, 
we are some fellas. We are some, you know, I heard the female spitting bars. We are a group. And yeah, this is straight hip hop. And we're doing this for the culture. We're doing this for hip hop. And like I said, you can listen to the beat, the beats throughout this entirety of the album. And you could just tell this is very hip hop ish. And when I said earlier that this is definitely, you know, the definition down by law is the definition of hip hop, especially this album. It really is the definition of hip hop. I can promise you that. So whoever is tuning in and they don't even know who this group is, I'm definitely going to put this album. I put a picture over here or somewhere on the screen. And yeah, man, it's on iTunes. Definitely take a listen. Uh, like I said, I haven't listened to their first album, which is now I don't know. I'm, I don't know if this is necessarily like their first album, because like I said, I don't really know much about their background. Um, but their first album, Rappers Are in Danger, so that's definitely something I'm going to go back and listen to. And yeah, hopefully there's more music on the way because, like I said, this is pure hip-hop for sure. And like I said a little bit ago, it just sounds like they're not going for that mainstream. They're not going for that bop. I'm not saying that going for that bop is a bad thing, but I feel like they're just like, yo, let's get some beats and let's fucking wrap our, ass, our asses off. That's exactly what it sounds like. And I'm appreciative of it because this is this is hip-hop. This is rap. This is real rap. And from start to finish, like I said, 49 minutes, 14 songs, and not one of them miss at all. Even the interludes, the, the, the skits, they're not even bad. They're not bad at all because it shows exactly like yo this is what we came to do it brings you back to like the 90s like listening to the beats and even just the raps the delivery the cadences on these tracks and 40 14 minutes 49 or 14 songs 49 minutes no misses and then to end it off with screw face come on come on like that is the definition of a real hip hop track, to be honest, the definition of a hip hop track, you know what I mean? And it's, this sets the tone, man. I'm telling you, it sets the tone. So shout out to down by law on air. Like I said, I'm definitely going to put a picture somewhere on the screen. Definitely go take a listen to them. I'm really appreciative of you guys, um, of, uh, of showing me and and telling me to review this because you guys did not let me down and to be honest i'm gonna give this an eight out of i'm gonna give this an eight out of ten an eight out of ten um yeah and that's really all i have to say uh if you guys are watching this i want to say that i'm appreciative of you guys i'm gonna keep a lookout on the new music that you guys i follow you guys on 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 uh on instagram so I'm definitely going to post their Instagram somewhere on the screen. And I'm appreciative of you guys. And keep on doing what you guys are doing. Like I said, it sounds like you guys aren't really going for that bop, that mainstream sound, um, you know, to be played on the radio, this, that, and the third. But if you guys do, you know, it is what it is. But I think this is your sweet spot right here, um, especially coming from someone who really loves music who really loves rap hip-hop uh, um you know rock music and stuff like that so like i said do what do what you guys want but i think this is your sweet spot right here this oh man it's a great album it definitely is a great album i'm going to be on a lookout to see what else you guys have in store what else you guys will be releasing hopefully it's soon but yeah eight out of ten i think you guys did a spectacular job with this so once again you're tuning in to the Fred D. Borges Show. Make sure you guys slap that subscribe button and make sure you guys go check out Down By Law. I promise you, they will not let you down. With that being said, we are out of here. Peace.